Hello, everybody. This is Miss Magda from the Bordeaux Branch Library. And if you didn't know, January is Hunger Awareness Month. And, well, this is a fun story to kind of get you hungry. Cheese, peas, and chicken tenders. Now, this story, I have to confess, is based on a story called Cheese, Peas, and Chocolate Pudding by Caroline Feller Bauer. And you can look that one up later, but here's my version. Now, once there was a little boy who wouldn't eat anything but cheese, peas, and chicken tenders. For breakfast, he would just eat cheese. He wasn't picky, though. No, no, he would eat any kind of cheese. I mean, Swiss, cheddar, Havarti, Munster, cave, aged, Gouda, smoked, you get the point. For lunch, he would just eat peas. But he wasn't picky. He would eat any kind of peas. Snap peas, frozen peas, black-eyed peas, canned peas, creamed peas, dried peas. Well, you get the point. For supper, he would eat chicken tenders. You know you love chicken tenders. Tell me. You know you do. The restaurant reviewer, Helen Rosner, says so. You might be vegetarian or vegan or concerned about your health or an adult with very serious opinions who never ever orders off the kids menu. You may never ever eat them. But Helen says you love them, so we have to believe her, because everybody does. And this boy loved them even more than you do. So every day, it was cheese, peas, and chicken tenders. Cheese, peas, and chicken tenders. <laughs> and cheese, peas, and chicken tenders. One day, his mom tried to fix him some broccoli. She roasted it in the oven with some salt and pepper, olive oil. It's a special treat. She also took out some really fresh Parmesan cheese, and she shredded it in big strips right on top. Mmm. Is this all cheese? The boy asked. No, there's also tasty broccoli, said his mom. Why don't you try it? Nope, just cheese, please, said the boy, and he scraped the cheese off the broccoli and left the green tree there for his mom to eat. The next day, his sister was eating a carrot. Now, they can be beautiful, come in all sorts of rainbow colors, but most of it's like that really nice orange, and it just sounds happy with the loud crunch as you bite down on it. That's not peas, is it? Said the boy. No, it's a carrot. Do you want to try it? It was tempting, but the boy remembered. Nope, just peas, please. Now the next day, his father was eating something out of a nest of paper, cradled in a little red plastic basket. It smelled so good, like grease and comfort with a touch of spiciness. <sighs> is, is, is that chicken tenders? Asked the boy who obviously knows about hot chicken. No, no, it's, it's hot cheesy jalapeno. You want one? He did like spicy cheese and the jalapeno was breaded. So it's kind of like a chicken tender. But then the boy remembered. Nope. Just chicken tenders, please. The next week, the boy was playing his favorite game. Now, he was a little boy, so he loved to pretend to be a puppy dog. You know how that went? Like, you've seen little kids do that. You're playing around, and you're making the noises, and arr, arr, whatever. His sister was sitting nearby, <laughs> laughing how silly he really was. And she was eating a tasty snack. Well, the boy, acting like a puppy dog, 
pretended like he was begging for a snack. You know how that goes. Well, the boy's sister was loving it. And so she just threw one of the snacks right in his mouth. And the boy just <sighs> bit down and tasted something completely different. It was like kind of sweet with the definite salty taste. Is, is this cheese? He asked. Nope. And she threw him another one. He caught it. The thin skin was kind of like a pea, but gave way in this like explosion of flavor when he bit down on it. Is is this a, is this peas? He asked. Nope. And she threw him another one. He caught it and he realized he was having to bite down through like fibers of a fruit or maybe it was a vegetable. And at the same time, there was all this juice and little bitty seeds swirling around his mouth. This isn't chicken tenders, he said. No, she said, still laughing at him. And she threw him another one and he grabbed it. And before he knew it, he'd eaten that one too. What is this? He demanded. Well, okay, so what do you think it is? This kind of sweet, definitely salty, thin skin, easily bite into, fibrous, but juicy with a lot of seeds. It's a bowl of tomatoes, silly. And she hold, held them out so he could see all the red and yellow and orange colors. He realized something about himself. I like tomatoes, he declared, and he helped her eat the rest of the bowl. Now that day forward, the boy ate only four things. Say it with me. Cheese peas, chicken tenders, and tomatoes until he grew up. And now he's just about everything. Not everybody gets that chance. Even people here in Middle Tennessee have insecurity about where their next meal comes from. That's a problem. But there are people to help. And so what I've done is I've put together a list, and this is just a small list. There are so many people out there willing to help. You can look in the details in the description and click on that. Share that list with anybody you know who might need it. There are food boxes all over the city. People are giving them out pretty much every single day of the week. Nobody in this town should be going hungry. So don't be afraid to ask for help if it's you. When you eat, you get smarter, you can come read more books. Everything falls in place when you have enough food. Just trying to do my part, guys. Let me know if there's anything else we can do here at the library. We miss you. This is Miss Magda from the Bordeaux Branch Library.